Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw the carbon monoxide CO uh, Lewis dot structure. So we can go ahead and start. We have carbon and oxygen, CO, carbon monoxide. So, and see, carbon gives us four valence electrons plus six valence electrons from the oxygen. So that's going to give us a, 10, a total of ten valence electrons. So now we can treat carbon as the center molecule, or center atom rather. So subtract uh, eight here, and it's going to give us two left over. Divide that by two, gives us one, and this is eight times one. So it's going to end up being an AX1E1 shape, which means there's going to be one atom attached to carbon, which is the oxygen, and then one lone electron pair. So we can draw carbon, oxygen. We can connect them with a single bond first, and let's so say we just surround the oxygen with this, the six more electrons, that gives us eight total, and then put the the second, or the, the, the very final um, electron pair on the carbon, and that gives us ten. That might be right, but ho however, notice that carbon does not have the four octet. It needs eight. It, right now it only has one, two, three, four electrons. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this bond, make it a double, move these electrons, make it a double bond, and then move this pair and make it a triple bond. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons, which is the total from up here. And each each atom now has their full octet. So this should be the right uh, Lewis structure. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges. So we can check the formal charges on, let's go carbon first. And remember, formal charge is the number of valence brought in. So that's 4 minus the number of bonds, one, two, three, minus the number of um, unpaired electrons, one, two. So the, that's going to give us a negative one, which isn't too bad, but we're always looking for zero, so we'll see what we get. Uh, we can check the formal charge on the oxygen, and that is going to give us six from the valence brought in, minus three, and then for the three bonds, and then minus two over here, and that's going to give us a plus one. So if the formal charges themselves aren't zero, you're always trying to get the sum to be zero. And if you know this, plus one, minus one, those are going to add up plus one, minus one, it's going to give you a zero. So that's not, that's not too bad. Ideally, we're trying to get these to be zero, but in this case, it still adds up to zero, so that's okay too. So. Now we can see that this is going to be a linear shape because the, uh, carbon being the central atom has one and two things bonded to it. So two things, it's going to be linear. Two, uh, two groups. And for the uh, hybrid orbitals, there's one group, two groups. So that's going to be a SP hybrid. S, one S orbital, one P orbital. And um, this is also going to be a polar molecule because the carbon and oxygen have different electronegativities. So the, the overall negative charge is going to be n distributed un unevenly. So it's going to be a polar molecule. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know. And thanks for watching.